Hello and welcome to SRG Insights, where we answer your questions about sales, sales management, and sales training. And today's question is... Daniel asks, a prospect that has told you they are interested in your product, but not for a few months or quarters down the road, and they won't take an intro or first discovery call now. What are some of the best practices in checking in with a prospect to stay on top of mind? Would that be a casual, hope all is well emails, or case studies that are relevant to the industry? It is one of those challenges where your marketing department has worked extremely hard to generate some interest or hopefully a response from an initial prospect. Now you have them, but they say, you know, we're just not ready. Or it may be that concept of, we really like you, but we're not ready for a relationship yet. So what do we do? And, you know, HubSpot published an interesting uh, blog a, a while back on sales and sales uh, management uh, statistics. And one of them they identified was that about 50% of your prospects will fit into that qu category. In other words, 50% are qualified, but they're not ready yet today. And so the question I think uh, that's posed is, well, what do we do in the meantime? We don't want to annoy them. But by the same token, just sending an email saying, I'm checking in, I want, hope everything's okay, at some point gets annoying. So what can we do? So I think the first question is to really engage and ask the prospect, well, when might you be ready? Is this an initiative that's on the agenda for the fall timeframe? And if so, can we set a follow-up meeting today for October 1st or at the beginning of January? So in other words, we get something on the calendar and we really book that follow-up. It may change, they may have to reschedule, but at least we already have it there. We have something there that we can work towards. And we've also engaged them in a discussion so that we can really ferret out a little bit further whether it is qualified and if it is it something that they anticipate doing in the future. My experience is that most prospects will take a meeting or at least be willing to put something on the calendar as a checkpoint in the future. So that's part or step one. I think step two is then we really need to nurture them during that time frame, keep them warm and really engage them in a way that shows our expertise without again being annoying or just sending the email that says, I'm checking in to see if everything's okay. Uh, another statistic to share on that matter is the benefit of a relevant email compared to a generic or a broadcast email suggests that it will be 18 times uh, more successful. In other words, it'll generate 18 times more revenue if you're able to tailor and have a re relevant email as opposed to just a generic email maybe coming from the marketing department. So I think we have to make it really uh, specific and work hard to provide relevant content and relevant information that we can share with that potential prospect during that period until they are ready to buy. So what is relevant? You know, I like to have emails or conversations, maybe it's a voicemail that says, I was thinking about you today, or it occurred to me after our last conversation, you might be interested in this blog post we just published, on this white paper that just came out, on this webinar that we have coming up. Here's a piece of third party research that reminded me of our conversation that we had. I thought you might be interested in it. It shows that we're thinking about them. It shows that we're engaged. And in the meantime, it's providing some relative, relevant information that they can actually use and take away. You know, we have a client that uh, talks about the idea of a gift of content. And I really like that concept that, you know, it's a bit like uh, maybe your, your parents told you, you know, never show up at someone's house without bringing some type of a gift. Well, let's not engage with our clients without bringing some type of a gift with us, a gift of content. Again, it could be a blog, it could be a white paper, it could be uh, something we found on, on the web that's relevant to their situation, but we're bringing that gift, we're bringing a little bit of insight that we can share with them. So what I would encourage is, you know, first, if we can book that follow-up, let's get it on, let's find out when they're ready to re-engage. Let's provide relevant information that shows we're thinking about them and that keeps them warm, helps to build that relationship and nurture them in the meantime. And then let's make sure that we actually engage them in a way that hopefully provokes them or encourages them to respond back, give them a reason to respond. And if not, at the point that we have that follow-up, they'll be in a much better position to, to respond, they'll understand our information, the content and the insights we can bring, and ideally they'll be uh, more inclined and ready to engage with us at that point.